Hey, this is Andrew Brown, and welcome to the free AWS Cloud Project Bootcamp organized by me, uh, which runs the AWS Ontario Virtual User Group. So I know you have a lot of questions, and the idea with these videos is to answer those uh, better than what a tweet or a message can do, and so I hope that you find value in this. And the first thing I want to say before we get to those commonly asked questions, and number one thing people are asking, did I make it in, which we'll talk about here in a second, um, I want to just say that I'm running this as my user group. And so we have 10,000 people registered, but in my user group, I only have 2,000 people. So I don't think uh, that many people weren't able to get in. And apparently, th there shouldn't be any geo-restricting stuff there. And the reason I want you to join this is because I'm trying to get you stuff from AWS, whether it's credits or stuff like that. And it is supposed to be driven through my AWS Ontario virtual user group. So if you can go here and try to get in, I really appreciate getting those numbers up because it really will help you, um, but only if you get in there, okay? So let's go back over to the AWS Cloud Project Bootcamp website. I hope you like it. I built it myself, all in HTML and CSS. And no, there is no longer a marquee HTML thing. I had to do some crazy stuff to do that. And as you can see, registration is closed with 10,000 folks. Um, and so now is the challenge of making sure or seeing who is eligible and not eligible to make it into the bootcamp. And so my first thought was to create a pivot table, and that's what I did. I said, okay, well, if you want to do this bootcamp, you need a credit card, probably, uh, and you have to have a valid AWS account. Really, you just need to have an account that you can work in that you don't have to worry too much about spend. Um, and so that's where the credit card comes in play, because if you don't have a credit card, most likely you won't be able to have a valid AWS account. I say that because there are edge cases that I wasn't aware of that I am now that people either have activated an account because they got a prepaid credit card from someone out overseas or they've done some work to do that. And so they have a valid account, they just can't afford any spend. And so originally I was thinking, okay, well, with that new knowledge, then really the people that need to get, uh, that might be filtered out are the people that are over a year uh, that don't have a valid credit card because if they don't have one, and they have spend, they can't, they can't, uh, you know, they'll just get uh, hinged up or they'll get stuck. So, um, you know, I made this criteria and I posted it on social media. And then I had people saying, well, I entered the form wrong. I do have an account now, et cetera, et cetera. And so this whole form is not useful anymore. <laughs> okay. So people were freaking out. And now I have to say, do not worry. I've now changed the criteria again based on emerging scenarios. And I think the thing is that we're still gonna apply internally, or maybe uh, like privately to you, where we consider you to be a risk uh, to, to fail the course. Um, but we're not gonna prevent anyone from participating. So, uh, because I, I cannot easily validate all these accounts up front. Um, uh, we are building out some tools, which I'll talk about here in a second to, to do that. But I just want you to know, do not freak out about this. Uh, this wording will be changed, so it's less stressful. Uh, but we have to talk about, well, how are we going to, uh, you know, determine who's going to get graded and, and who is valid? And so, so with some solution architecting there with uh, my other Andrew, who's my neighbor, um, and, and apparently I'm bringing my whole team in now to, to get this boot camp because it's so big now, is that we are probably going to make um, a validation tool. And so probably this validation tool is going to check the actual application that you are to build and and or... Again, haven't done it yet, so I have no idea. And or it might need to check within your AWS account because I could create a CloudFormation template that has a cross role that will check for particular resources to be there. Um, so those are the things that we are trying to solve and we have time to solve it and I have dedicated people that are doing it on the side. So it will be solved well before we finish the bootcamp. But I would just say that everyone can participate along, but you know, if you run to an issue where you cannot use your account anymore, or you can't, uh, or you run into spend issues, so you have to stop, or you run into serious issues with the domain, uh, and and we can't validate that part, at least that part of it. Then you are at risk of not getting graded because we're just gonna like run that thing first before we do grading because there's just so much grading to do. Um, but uh, that is the idea there uh, that I'm thinking about to to just make it easier so that I can just accept you all into the program with the condition that you understand that, you know, you might not get a final grade because of those circumstances and there's nothing I can do about it. Now, there are a lot of people asking a lot of questions and the same question, and it's valid to be fair, but they're asking like when, what, where, 
um, uh, on every little thing. And so what I really need to do is I need to drive people back to the FAQ. So I have an FAQ. If we go to the homepage here and we scroll on down, I know it's not obvious. It's under construction. That's why I put these GIFs here. When we go down below here, we should have our FAQ page. And apparently it's not even linked. And apparently those links don't work. So people told me they didn't work and I guess it's true. So there you go, I have some work to do here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna open a new tab and I'm gonna fix these links today. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open this up and I'm gonna make my way over to uh, my Google Drive. I'm just doing this off screen because I don't wanna show everything in my account. And if you were to open the bootcamp outline, okay, uh, we have a link here called FAQs, and this is where all the frequently asked questions are gonna live. So if I open this up, um, here's questions. So we're gonna get these organized into categories, and we're gonna try to prioritize the most uh, immediate ones that people are asking at the top, but we're gonna have to get this organized today, so I have, again, more support on my team that are going to take care of this. Um, and the thing is, is that I really don't want you to bring questions to me we are going to centralize a place for you to submit them. And so first I thought I was just gonna go use something like Zendesk or something, but it turns out that we are going to be building uh, an app just to administrator, like a micro LMS for the app. So everyone that has registered, we're gonna import your data into this app that we built. And in there, that's where you're gonna be doing your homework checks, your quizzes. That's where you're gonna be submitting these FAQs. And literally it's gonna be a box. So if you have a question, you're right in the box. It's gonna get dumped in a stream. There's no SLAs here. We can't guarantee that we're going to personally uh, message you. Well, uh, we'll see the stream, I'll scroll through it, my support will scroll through it, and we'll see what we notice, and then we'll pick that out and throw them up on questions here so that you'll have to come back and take a look. And if it's there, if it's there, and I would just ask, please don't submit the same question multiple times. Please, please don't, <laughs> okay? Because it's just overdue burden there. And so that is what we're doing. So uh, you're all basically accepted is, is the first point. Point number two is please, 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 please read the FAQ first. And if you don't see a question, you'll have the opportunity to submit it through this form and hold your questions as best as you can until you have that mechanism to do it. We're building a micro LMS. So that is the main, main way that you're going to do your homework, get validated, do FAQs, okay? Um, and if we see things in the forms, we'll bring them over, but just don't at sign message me because it's just overwhelming for me. Uh, and there was a third point uh, I don't remember, but I will fix these links. And so I, so I hope you are super excited for the bootcamp. I know that I am. Uh, and now that we're past all that point, let me just talk about a few things. So more or less, our speaker list is pretty much finalized. I think I might have one or two more speakers. And I can tell you, I do have a secret uh, guest speaker or a guest instructor, sorry. So we might be adding, because it's such a hard component, it's not hard to do, but it's just hard to solve uh, for learning uh, to make sure it's cost effective, but I might have a really, 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 really cool bonus uh, week. And so that's something that's getting hammered out in secret. Um, and if that starts to get finalized, I will put up a, the secret guest instructor box. It's an Adibus hero, uh, but I'm very excited uh, if they are able to add that additional week. So you might get a bonus there. Uh, but yeah, this website is still in your works and we're doing the best we can. Um, and yeah, all updates, video updates, I'm gonna put in a playlist on YouTube. I'm gonna just throw it on my channel because I don't have time to figure out a new mechanism for delivery. But yeah, hopefully that answers some of your questions uh, and we will see you soon in the bootcamp. Ciao.